The Special Anti-Bunkering Tax Force team has destroyed over eight illegal refinery or refining sites in 26 Boiling Point in Weaver State. This was at the Creek of Urubiri Community in Okrika local government area. Now, this is part of the state government's effort to check illegal oil bunkering in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. Details in this report. It was another journey to the creek of Orubiri community in Okriko local government area of River State, where more sites of illegal oil refining were discovered. Led by the council chairman, Akuro Tobin, the special anti-bunkering tax force team destroyed over eight illegal refining sites and 26 boiling points. That's in the past one week in Okriko local government area. Briefing newsmen on the development, Toby expressed sadness over destruction of the Oribiri community ecosystem. This is said as reduced land availability for cultivation of crops and destroyed the source of livelihood for the farming and fishing of the area. Each day you wake up from sleep, you put your hand in your nose stream, bring it out, you see black. You cough, it's black. You bait, after two minutes, look under your foot black. So the destruction, this illegal bunkering, have done to lives in River State is very high. The council chairman said he is resolute in the fight against oil bunkering, popularly called poor fire and hurt bunkers to change their ways or face the full wrath of the law. This illegal bunkering has made them not to go to school any longer. And education is a key, a major key to success. But because of this quick money they are making, they never go to school. So the advice there is we should stop it and we can reorientate them. The knowledge they have in uh, using a crude to, um, uh, to produce kerosene, produce fuel. So my message there is they should be calm. You can see how devastating the area is. We can't even get prewinkles oil stars, seafoods, our fishes we get ordinarily, you don't see them again because the place is polluted. The effect these people have done to us will take us 30, 45 years to recover. And if we don't stop them now, what's the future like? It's devastating. For 2022 alone, NMPC will require three trillion to be able to service subsidy. Now, why do we even bother with subsidy and importation of uh, petroleum products. If we can put these skills, the idea they have to be able to separate petrol, diesel, kerosene from crude locally, if we can annex these skills and give them such training and uh, the right technology, we will not be needing to import fuel. We will have these modular refineries complementing our ineffective refineries. What this pollution even cost to our groundwater is enormous. And I'm sure government has to swing into action to do something um, which in our field we call um, uh, sweeping, sweeping of these products that already have seeped into the ground. And I tell you, the, the mangrove you see today, we may not see them in the next uh, 10 years. Tobin urged residents to provide the tax force with valuable information that will assist in tackling illegal oil activities in the states. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.